Now, in order to uh, illustrate this principle uh, the best way I know how to, <laughs> I would like to share a video. Um, I'm doing this so that, anyway, let's just move on to this. Okay, ready? I'm going to show a video real quick here. Hey, okay, please take notes on this. This is, a, this is a big deal. You ready? Okay, let's dive into this. <laughs> the game's hard for a while, right? It's hard. You're proving to life, existence, God, the universe, everybody, the market, that you actually want it. This, I remember this one time um, we went to, um, we would go to like, there's like a Taco Bell or something like that. That's where our date nights would be because of 89 cent bean burritos, you know what I mean? Like, and uh, that's all we could afford. As I started trying the next business, I knew the next one was coming up. I was excited. And I was telling Princess Babe about it. <laughs> and uh, she wanted to believe in me. And, and it was uh, challenging. And when she asked, is this the one? And I was sitting there. And inside, I was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know either. I'm asking myself the same thing. Is this the one? You know, on the outside, I'm like, yeah, baby, nothing but a thing. I'm your man, right? I will provide. And I wasn't, right? I will provide. And I was like, I was not providing at all. And um, we were living on loans, you know? I came out of one of my economics classes. And I see this guy sitting at a bench. And these things are just running through my head. Crap, like... Is this the one she asked me? I want to feel like a man. I want to provide. I want to be her man, right? Like, am I, am I good enough for this? Man, maybe you're not good enough. Maybe you should go get a job. Noise, man. Like, how many guys have felt the noise? Noise, 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 noise. You're like, shut up. You know, it's like, but I believe it. But am I, am I psycho, you know? And all, all those things were just running through my head. Boom, 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 boom. Is this the one? Is this the one? Is this the one? I don't know if this is going to work. I don't either. Let's go put money on it. Are you serious? You know what I mean? Let's go get money for ads. It's like, what? I don't want money for ads. We could barely eat. I'm walking down the street and I see this old gentleman sitting in, I've never seen him before. And he was sitting on this park bench and it just stopped raining. And you could tell the dude just wearing wealth. And I'm a ways off. And, and this limo pulls up. And this limo pulls up, and this dude with unnaturally straight posture gets out of the car, you know, you know, like super awesome posture. And he walks around the front, you know, and he opens up the car door and does this little half bow. And I'm starting to, I'm starting to get, a, get a little bit closer. And this guy gets up, this older gentleman, he stands up and he starts to get in the car and they exchange looks. You could tell they knew each other. There's a history. They exchange words. And I'm, by this time, I'm getting pretty close, you know, like here to that little VIP sign, you know, and I'm getting kind of close. And they start closing the door and something in me out of sheer desperation made me run. And I ran because I wanted it. And I ran and I slammed my hand in the door right before it closed. It hurt. But I wanted him to know I was there, but not to like kill him either. You know, so like, and I'd been running full speed. So like, hey, what's up? I know you don't know me. It's a great way to start. How did you get this? I'm not sure you get asked it a lot. How'd you get this? Yeah, a lot of people ask me that. I said, how do you do it? It's not that I'm not trying. I'm launching. I'm doing the stuff. What is wrong? Like, someone else has had success. I'm not. I'm the variable. What is wrong with me? He looks at me and he goes, he goes, um, he hands me this book. And he said, you need to read this book. It's what he was reading on the bench before the car pulled up. And he handed it over to me. And he said, if you will read this for 20 minutes every day, and then spend the next 40 applying it, you will not recognize your life in two years. That was four years ago. How cool is that? Woo! That was four years ago. Okay. And he handed that thing up and he drove off and I never saw him again. And so I spent for the next year, 20 minutes reading the book, 40 minutes applying, 20 minutes reading, 40 minutes applying and spent the whole year like that. And in one year, stuff started happening in my life. It was really interesting. I stopped looking at the clock, stopped judging my self-worth based on how fast that guy did it. Okay. So we actually have a really cool little thing for you guys here. Um, he and I have been in communication quite a bit now, which is really fun. And uh, he said, uh, I can give you guys all a copy of this book. It's really exciting. I know, right? It's awesome. Uh, we have the, uh, the actual book. Okay. Um, and I 
am a very slow reader, so I asked them if I could, if I was like licensed or whatever to read it. So I've read the entire book. So I have an audio book for you from me. Um, and then we also gave you guys, there's also like a little checklist so you guys can make sure that you've actually done it correctly. He wants to do a little private event. So in about six months from now, we're going to do a little private event. But uh, we literally just have this little tiny room. It's actually in his living room. The first 20 of you guys who want it, uh, we're going to get you guys to an event with him, with me, and we'll actually apply stuff. So it's in six months from now, so that you guys actually have time to actually consume this stuff and do it. Sound good? Okay, so you guys will get the actual book, the audio book. We have a checklist for you guys, and then we're going to do uh, the first 50 you guys we have um, a private event. Sound good? Yeah. Cool. I want to break real quick, and we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Anyone confused? That's all fake, by the way. I've never read that book. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's, uh, that, is, that has been termed as the fake book story. Uh, how many of you guys have bought a copy of that book because you saw me do that? You did, yeah. I, th I think I've sold near 200 copies of that guy's book now. I think I've done it like nine times at live events. Totally fake, completely lying my face off, right? And, and it's because one day I got so tired of people saying, well, I'm in a different scenario, right? And I'm like, oh my gosh, fine. Let me take something I've never read and let me go sell it. Now, why does the fake book story work? Story. story. Why does the story sell it? Belief. Belief. Why, what, what elements in the story make it so powerful? That's where they are. They're in the limo, right? They're see, they can see themselves. In. How many of you guys have actually done the dollar menu date thing in real life? I have, right? And that's why I tell the story. How many of you guys have had someone wise hand you off some advice and then you really don't get a chance to chat with them again, right? And by doing that, it's because I know the market. And so what I did is one day I just got really, really frustrated and just grabbed that book off my shelf. And I didn't tell the ClickFunnels staff I was doing it. it was, the first time I did it was actually at a ClickFunnels event. And um, uh, it was to their really, you know, $18,000 group, really expensive group to be in there. And none of the staff knew I was doing this. They thought I was really pitching. And while they were still mad, they were still buying. <laughs> So Dave Woodward is on the corner buying it. You know, everyone else is buying it. And, um, but asking like why I'm doing this up front. And uh, then I dropped the book and said, it's fake. And there was a stage rush. They didn't hear me say it was fake. People thought I was saying, come get it. And so they were running from the back. And there was a few people dove on the stage. And there's, anyway, I've done that multiple times. And the next time we did the same event, same staff, same other coaches to a different crowd. And they still bought it. After I told them it was fake, the, the point, how many of you guys want the book now, right? You, you know it, it's fake, right? Yeah, right? And that's the, that's the point. I'm not telling you to lie, okay? Don't lie. Um, Russell voxed me a little bit later, and he goes, dude, you got to stop telling the fake book story. They're not going to believe anything else you tell them. I was like, yeah, but it's the only story that is a lie. I'll just keep it the same story. It's a powerful principle, right? And so that, that's why I tell this, is to help people realize, like, your sale has almost nothing to do with the product. It has everything to do with the message itself. I never go over the chapters of the book. I never go over the quotes on the back. I never go over it. None of that. What causes value? Remember, story amplifies value? What causes it? Story. Okay, so this piece is very key. And what I want to do real fast is share with you how to go create that story, what the story should be, so that when you create the offer, it's actually a valuable thing for them. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this is like bread and butter stuff right here, okay? We'll definitely, definitely use this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, we buy, again, because of the sales message. Now, when you think about this, understand that the sales message is the thing that creates a promise. So if I have a sales message, okay, right here, a sales message is creating a promise. I've got, I've got a dream customer inside of a market. They have their own dream of something they're trying to achieve. And what I'm doing with the sales message is coming in and saying, this offer right here, right, it's going to be amazing for you. But really what I'm doing is I'm telling a whole bunch of story, okay? So I'm actually, I'm telling a story and it's creating a promise. Okay. They think what they're buying is the offer. They're really buying the story. Okay. Now over here, the actual offer though on this side is what fulfills on the promise. 
And this is why when people, like I've had several companies tell me like the product, how many of you guys have heard the product's so good, all you have to do is get in front of people and it will sell itself. <laughs> you guys heard that? Yeah. Just, there's, like a, there's like a really powerful um, antidote for that. It's really interesting. Yeah, yeah, you take your hand and you have to, it, there's a very specific method to this, okay? 45 degree angle out like this, kind of like bend at the elbow and you just stick your face out just a little bit. Get it, right there. Like there's a terrible African spider about to bite your face, right? <laughs> no, bad, okay? Bad <laughs> yeah, bad kitty, exactly, right? So we've got, um, <laughs> we've got the sales message is what does the selling. The offer is just what fulfills, okay? Now where are my salespeople in the room? Yeah. Yeah. Only issue, every hand should be up, right? Where are my salespeople in the room? Yeah. Woo, okay, now check this out. Do people always buy the moment they see your product? No. What? But I thought your thing was really good. Why don't they buy? I, if it's really good, how come they're not purchasing? It has to do with the way the brain handles change. I love this movie. Did you ever see The Croods? Yeah. He's like at the beginning of that movie, he's like, one day they saw something new and died, right? <laughs> I love that scene, it's so good. But it's, it's the truth, like what happens inside of our brains, you have to understand the way the brain makes decisions. That's actually how we create the sales message. Okay, this is how people create a decision. First of all, why do people buy in general? Yeah, yeah, because so, you, so, you sold something, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Belief, that's it, belief. Okay, and what is all belief upheld by? Story. story. People buy because of the story. Okay. Now again, this comes from one of my favorite, there's a lot of great books that go through this, okay? But one of my favorite books is a book called Pitch Anything. Oh, such a good book. I highly, strongly recommend that you, uh, that you take time to read that. Um, inside that book, he talks about the pitch and what's happening kind of like science-wise inside of the brain while you pitch the brain. And this is based off, like our brains are like 100,000 years old, right? And so that's why a lot of what we teach, like, it applies to everybody because it's human psychology. Yeah. But when we're pitching, we think we're pitching one part of the brain, but really we're pitching another, right? It's like there's a whole bunch of these red flags that pop up inside the head. 